Today we're going to be talking about gravitational fields. Now the first question that we need to answer is, what is a field? A field is simply a region in space in which an object experiences a force. And a gravitational field is a region in space in which an object experiences a gravitational force. For instance, if we have this little object so over here, just highlight that like so, and this object is in the gravitational field of this planet. This, um, this little yellow object here is going to be attracted towards the planet. And in fact, it will experience a force in this direction towards the planet, like so. This will be a gravitational force. Now, how do we represent gravitational fields. In a region in space, we tend to use arrows. Here are some important rules. First of all, the lines will never cross. Additionally, lines, which are also known as field lines, point into the direction that a small test mass will experience a force in. For instance, if we have this little mass over here, that will experience a force of attraction along this line. In practice, the uh, for gravitational field lines, they will always point inwards. Unlike electric field lines, if you've studied them, uh, you will know that they can uh, that they can be coming out of an object and going into an object depending on the depending on the charge. Additionally, the um, density of the field lines corresponds to the strength of the field. For instance, uh, if we had a lot more field lines, so I can draw a few more like so, uh, then that will indicate a stronger gravitational field. For instance, we can add a couple more like so, and this will essentially make the field stronger. This is how we represent a stronger field. For instance, if uh, I had twice as many lines, then the field will be twice as strong, like so. Additionally, with something which is really, really interesting is that the field lines appear uniform close to the surface of a planet. So let's see if I can zoom sufficiently. Let's go to maximum zoom. But uh, if we really, really zoom and zoom in even further, then um, the planet will appear to be flat. I know it doesn't in this case because I can't quite zoom in the, um, quite so much. However, the lines in this case will be virtually parallel lines. Let's have a look at this into a little bit more detail. And uh, I'm just going to finish drawing those lines as well. OK, let's uh, have a look just in this region of space in a little bit more detail. So quite close to the surface of a planet, the field appears perfectly uniform. So this means that it will consist of parallel equidistant lines towards the surface. If we were to double the field strength, then this would mean that we would have to double the amount of field lines. In fact, this is how the field lines would look if I was to double the strength of the gravitational field. We had six lines before, whereas now we have 12. Okay, folks, so hopefully this makes sense. If there are any questions, please feel free to leave a comment and thank you for watching.